Y'all, I just wanted to jump on here again and tell you, I know you know this about me from watching my posts, but I really love talking about my health and wellness. I guess it's because I suffered for a long time at feeling well and feeling healthy. And I may not look cute now to some people. I may not be beautiful or whatever, but I am so much prettier than I used to be. <laughs> and why? Because I'm healthier than I used to be. I'm healthier. I'm taking better care of my hair and skin and it's thanking me for it. So I don't consider it vain to be excited to post about my Young Living Savvy Minerals makeup or to post about my Monate hair and skin care or about our wellness products with either company. Like, I don't hesitate to be excited to tell you because it is life changing and it sucks because in a way, like, you, we want everything to be immediate, right? We want the quick fix. We want the 30 second miracle. P.S. That's a product from Monet, okay? But we want those things to be super fast and super instant. And sometimes it's not. But I'll tell you what, it took a long time of commitment and consistency to get to where I am now. Um, but it was a long, it was longer because I started, stopped trying. I had four kids in a very tight span. Um, my husband has changed jobs a lot and he's worked in ag service, mechanical, um, trucking, just, just the kind of work that you don't get holidays and weekends and nights off always. Like it's very hectic. So, you know, there was a lot of excuses that I put out there and told myself so that way I didn't have to deal with any of it. And that's so that's so damaging to your process and to your your journey. So I just, if you're in that place where you're starting and stopping a lot or you just feel like, I don't even wanna start because I will stop and let's shake all of that off. Like for some reason, God has put on my heart so big right now, stop waiting for New Year's to make resolutions. Stop waiting for anniversaries to make plans. Stop waiting for these moments that we somehow want to make so important and big and realize that today is big. Me getting to be a stay at home mom is big. Me getting to homeschool all four of our children aged five to 13 is big. Volunteering at the different places that I do. These things are big things and I need to be at my best to function for all of them. I don't have time to be sitting here with my RA stuff flaring up. I don't have time to be, you know, injecting myself with the chemotherapy drugs that the doctors wanted to put me on that laid me out, made me sick for days on end, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't keep things down. That's a whole nother story, but y'all, like, I needed to be my best. I couldn't put it off. I couldn't sit there and make excuses and distractions for why I couldn't mess with it right now. You have got to make yourself a priority. You are on that list of priorities, okay? Especially as moms and wives and stuff, I feel like we have that nurturing instinct in us. God has made us special and unique. And, and each one of us is different. We're not all the super cuddly, really want the babies around all the time. We're not all like that. That's me, <laughs> but we're not all like that. So I, I respect that. But at the same time, you have to be willing to put yourself in a priority place. Sorry. You are supposed to be a priority. You don't put yourself first like the world tells you to but you're a priority and you need to make yourself one. You know, the, the analogy of the airplane is so good because they tell you don't put your own, or uh, put your own mask on first. Don't put it on your child or the person next to you until you've got yours on. Because if you fall down, passed out, how, you, then you can't help anyone. Like, and that that's risky. And that if you get yourself to a stable place, then you can help someone else. <sighs> if you get to a stable place, place you can help more people that's an aha moment right there guys whoa that's good right sadie um <laughs> she's never gonna see this but sadie robertson Huff has a podcast called whoa that's good 
And the first question she asks every one of her guests is what is the best piece of advice you've ever been given? And then after that, they give even more amazing advice just in the stories they're telling in the conversation they're having. Listen to one today with um, Ellie Holcomb on it. And oh, y'all, if I'm being honest, I didn't even know who Ellie Holcomb was like specifically until we got going on it. But I am so moved and so inspired by everything that the two of them had to say today that I just, I just really felt inspired to get on here and share with you and just encourage you and say, you're not alone in this. You are a priority. Just get them in the right order. Like just let's, let's do this right. Let's balance this, right? So I'm finally getting into the point where I'm balancing things, which balance is another money product. But anyway, <laughs> this was not supposed to be an infomercial at all, but it's just, it's so good. It's so good. You, 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 you just be so happy. So I really want to inspire and encourage others. That's my mission, right? So not just in health and wellness, not just in beauty, not hair and makeup, not skincare and, and you know, internal wellness, not just those things, but your eternal wellness too. And that is why Prayerfully Blessed exists. You know me as the Prayerfully Blessed Mama. That's my page name and everything. And I talk about personal stuff. I talk about business stuff. I talk about it all. But we're going to be coming up on a season of change here soon for the Prayerfully Blessed Mama page. And I really hope that you guys are all here, pumped and excited, ready to hear it come the first of the year. So please, if you haven't followed the page already, make sure that you're following Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, Prayerfully Blessed Mama. It might be Prayerfully Blessed Mama 317. Um, but if you type in Prayerfully Blessed Mama, you'll get there. Um, you'll see the curls, you'll see the mane. <laughs> you'll know, you'll know who it is. Um, but yeah, we're just, we're so excited. I have a whole team of ladies now together and we are just working so hard on something so amazing, so exciting, so moving. And I just, I keep feeling so on fire with it that I just, I hope it spreads. I hope it catches. I hope y'all are excited too, because prayerfully blessed, that's, that's my real purpose in life. Monet, Young Living, I love Norwex, I love 31, I love Usborne, I don't sell all of those things, I'm not a rep for, I'm just Young Living and Monate, but I have friends that are consultants for all those other things and I'm constantly shopping with them, hosting parties, you know, like I love to support the business aspect of life because that's how we fuel our ministries. That is how these women fuel their ministries and whether it's a literal nonprofit ministry or whether it's how they live their life, they're doing such amazing things that I, I just can't wait to share more with you, inspire you, pass things on, share our hearts, and really just see, see what God does with this vision that he has given me. And so while I'm looking my best and feeling my best, I also have that purpose that is like pushing all of it. And I am feeling finally comfortable enough to step into it because I'm looking and feeling my best. What a dual purpose. God is using Young Living and Monate to fuel my ministry literally and figuratively and to make me feel my most confident and my most able and willing and ready state to get his stuff done. Like what more could we accomplish if we were obedient sooner, right? <laughs> like I know, I know obedience is a dirty word right now, right? Because uh, this household, we kind of, we kind of have this philosophy that the constitution matters. So um, we don't want to be obedient to tyrants, but there is a higher calling we are called to be obedient to, and that is our Lord. So take that for what you will. I don't want to get political now, but I'm just trying to say obedience isn't really a dirty word like we're meant to think that it is. It's just, what are you obedient to? So again, before I start preaching and getting off on a tangent, let me just say, I pray that you are looking, feeling, and behaving at your absolute best, mind, body, and soul, the whole bit. And if you aren't, then please reach out, comment, like, subscribe, 
DM me, whatever. We'll figure it out. I'll learn all these techie things eventually and we'll get really rolling. So I, I have no greater purpose in life than to share Jesus. And part of that right now is sharing love. And so I love you if you're watching this. I am praying for your salvation, for your health, for your prosperity. And if you don't have those things, and if you are searching for those things, I know exactly where you can find it. Let's talk. Have a prayerfully blessed day.